Welcome to Patrick Talks Teaching. After many years of being a teacher, I've come to realize that there are some pretty cool ways that you could explain ideas to help make things a little bit more understandable for students. So today, I'm going to explore the wonderful world of physics. Physics is a fantastic subject that I've had the pleasure of teaching many times now, and over my years of experience, I've come to realize that there are maybe four big ideas to keep in mind that can help make the topic more manageable when exploring problems. Let's take a look. Our first big idea is manipulating equations. Algebra is an essential component of physics, so we'll need to develop the skills necessary to rearrange formulas quite a bit in order to be successful with all the physics problems. For example, if we consider force equals mass times acceleration, it might be necessary to rearrange to solve for acceleration. That is one type of manipulating equations. Another type would be to consider a second equation, rearrange it to solve for an important concept like acceleration, and then substitute that back into our original equation. Combining two equations together is often necessary in order to be successful when solving problems. So this is big idea number one. Big idea number two is all about reference frames. A reference frame is a convenient tool to help us figure out which directions are going to be positive and negative. For a reference frame, it's important to decide where positive is going to be in the vertical dimension and horizontal dimension. There are many types of problems that we're going to explore in physics that will use reference frames. Projectile motion, momentum, and looking at electrical charges are just some of these examples. It's important to be flexible with reference frames. Positive doesn't always have to be in the same direction. It really comes down to what's necessary for a question. If I'm looking at free fall, for example, where the entire problem involves going in a downwards direction, I might want to just make that positive. I firmly believe reference frames are an excellent tool to use in many problems that we explore. So consider them as big idea number two. Now big idea number three is all about objects and systems. An object in the world of physics is basically just written as a point and can represent absolutely anything. It could be a planet, it could be an animal or a human, it's anything we want. And what you do with that object is you analyze everything that's going on with it. Now a system, on the other hand, is basically a combination of objects. Here, for example, we have two objects, mass 1 and mass 2, on an inclined plane attached to a string on a pulley. Now I would always encourage everybody to look at objects first, analyze what's happening to an individual object, and then put everything together to consider how it's interacting as a system. The big idea number four is all about interpreting graphs. A lot of different ideas will involve some graphical information, and when we look at this graph, there's two pieces we need to always consider. The slope of the line will often give us a variable or quantity that we need. For example, in a velocity time graph, the slope of the line is your acceleration. The second important consideration when interpreting graphs is the area under the curve. Many graphs that you look at, this area is going to give an important quantity just like the slope did. Again, for example, in a velocity time graph, the area under the curve gives us the displacement. Always remember that when doing a lab, graphs give us a lot of information. And if you have to analyze the relationship between a couple variables, the slope and the area of those graphs might provide us important information. Well, there you have it. Four big ideas in the wonderful world of physics that might just help to make some problems and labs a little bit more understandable. Consider these things with all the problems that you explore. Watch for future videos on other topics as I go into physics in a little bit more detail. Thanks for listening.